Uh, hi, everybody. This is our product proposal for Walt Disney World, and it's called Maximize the Magic. Uh, a quick overview of what we're going to be talking about. Uh, we're going to have an executive summary. We're going to explain what Maximize the Magic is. Um, we're going to talk about Magic Kingdom Makeover and tell you what our plan is for that. And then we're going to discuss marketing opportunities, integrated marketing, and then give you a, like a timeline of everything. The core problem we will be addressing is Magic uh, Kingdom's need to offer new experiences to guests so that they continue frequently visiting the park. Um, the park is already an iconic tourist attraction. However, we want to boost the sales to an even larger market. Um, and to achieve this, our team proposes that Disney caters to adults who love the nostalgic feel of the Magic Kingdom by offering adult theme nights. Uh, we also propose to rebrand the loyalty program, so Magic Bands, to offer the guests special perks. Uh, this includes exclusive events, customized park day plans, fast passes, travel points, and we'll do that by using uh, Disney data from the Magic Bands and their people's Disney Plus accounts and other data sets. Uh, we will be able to direct the customers to their favorite attractions, and this will allow adult Disney fans to want to experience the Magic of the parks again and again, as their experience will never be the same twice. So we want you guys to sit back for a minute and put yourself into the situation. You and your family already love and utilize the Disney Plus app because it offers thousands of movies, TV shows, and childhood classics that your whole family loves. And you know as your kids are getting older that letting them experience the magic of Walt Disney World is definitely a thing on your bucket list. But it's super overwhelming to try and plan such a big trip. Questions flood your mind like which parks do we go to and when, which rides and restaurants do my family like, and how do we maximize our experience during such a short visit? And these questions might lead a lot of Disney consumers to ask, is this experience really worth all this hassle? So that is why we have decided to maximize the magic. So two big ways that Disney has modernized recently is through the release of Disney Plus in early 2019, which was a complete success for their media and entertainment division, and then through implementing magic bands to modernize Disney's guest experience. So it was a no brainer for us to combine these two successful campaigns to solve our core problem of revolutionizing and modernizing the way Disney guests experience Magic Kingdom. So Maximize the Magic is a new service that revolutionizes the way families and guests experience and interact with Walt Disney World Parks and Resorts in specific Magic Kingdom. Prior to your family's arrival, you'll receive a specially tailored park and resort itinerary, and this was created specifically to maximize your family's Disney experience. Forget about scheduling fast pass times, making reservations, and all of the chaos that goes along with planning such an experience. Now, this itinerary was created for your family in mind, not only so that each moment is magical, but memorable. Maximize Magic will allow our families to access all photos and videos and other memories from their happiest place on earth via the Disney Plus app to experience the magic of Disney forever. So in short, the Ma Maximize the Magic will analyze data from Disney Plus to create tailored itineraries for families prior to their arrival at the Disney parks and resorts. It will integrate magic bands to function on Disney Plus app, such as fast passes, hotel keys, virtual wallets. Uh, it will integrate Magic Bands to send collected data while at Disney Parks and Resorts to Disney Plus accounts for post-park analyzation. And you can also access Disney Parks photos and memories on the Disney Plus app. So like Sarah mentioned in our executive summary, one thing that we want to do within Disney is a Magic Kingdom After Hours makeover. So we know that families inc uh, that include adults with their children go to Disney World and Adults are a huge part of the nostalgic vibe that Magic Kingdom brings. So we, we are proposing a Magic Kingdom After Hours makeover. And some of the themes that we had in mind were a princess theme, maybe a ball in there, um, an animated movie theme because Disney is just popping with the, all the popular animated movies. Like, uh, where do I even start with those? And then... Another super nostalgic vibe that Disney gives off is the Mickey and Friends theme. Um, Mickey Mouse is a huge part of Disney World. It's the logo, um, where it all started. And then another theme that we wanted to bring up was a choose your own adventure theme. And this one actually could be expanded outside of just Magic Kingdom, but it would also include Magic Kingdom because Disneyland itself 
uh, with the other three parks being Epcot, um, Epcot Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios. They all have super, super popular attractions, and we don't want to just limit the guests from being just in Magic Kingdom, but we do want to uh, uh, promote Magic Kingdom at the same time. So the new VR AR ride that we want to propose to Disney is a pivot theme that we can change whenever we want to. This ride was inspired by Universal Studios having rides themed from Jimmy Neutron and Shrek. And it's gonna be super similar to those two, almost like a combination of both. The way the ride is gonna work, it's gonna be a stationary ride where the user stays in one place inside of a room while the screen, the chairs, the entire room provides the whole entire AR VR experience. And we wanna um, also simultaneously promote these rides and these themes with the same campaign as the Maximize the Magic campaign and the theme nights. So if our theme happened to be Mickey Mouse, then we would have a Mickey Mouse themed ride for a month. If it happened to be the princess theme, then we would go on maybe a magic carpet ride. Um, it would just be uh, in tune with the Mag Maximize the Magic campaign and with the theme nights. And we thought this would be really, really cool for Disney to do. So a little bit of integrated marketing for the Maximize the Magic campaign. This is some sample ad art here that shows the magic bands and how they link with Disney Plus. Um, to maximize the magic. And then over here, we have a sample consumer survey, um, which is a Magic Kingdom Maximize the Magic guest experience survey. So this just builds off of um, when we first do a soft launch of Maximize the Magic campaign. So we would have those consumers answer questions such as, do you utilize the Disney Plus streaming service? Which attractions have you visited at Magic Kingdom today? Or the attractions you visited at Magic Kingdom today pre-planned by your Maximize the Magic curated itinerary, and et cetera. So the timeline for this campaign starts right now in January of 2021 with stage T5, and that is to understand consumer problems, drill down on the audience and analyze market data. Next in February, T4 is to test ideas on a small scale, align product and marketing. So Disney will test out the Maximize the Magic campaign on a small scale uh, by surveying existing consumers from a prior survey. And then in March, we are stage T3 to launch the product for US markets. Then in April, we will analyze all of the feedback from the soft launch for US markets. Um, and we will use those feedback to create insights regarding the future of Maximize the Magic campaign and Magic Kingdom in general. Finally, our last stage in this timeline is to launch the product on a global market. And this will only happen in the event that Maximize the Magic is a success for the US market. So we will analyze the data from the campaign, read the insights created, and from said data collected, Disney will make the executive decision whether they should continue with this new campaign. So I'm not gonna read the whole quote, but the two main points we have to know about Magic Kingdom is that it is still a super popular attraction and it is must see, and that the part of the appeal that the park uh, is known for is this nostalgic vibe. So our final thoughts on what we're gonna do and what we're proposing to Disney is that we wanna utilize the data that we have and we already know that Disney has about its customers, and we are gonna create insights that'll, that allow us to better market Disney's Magic Kingdom campaign experience to, our, to their customers. By analyzing Disney Plus data, we are able to create these personalized experiences, uh, Magic Kingdom itineraries for customers while they are sitting at home on their couch. It's too easy. Then after a consumer has experienced the magic at Magic Kingdom, they have the ability to look through all of their memories on the Disney Plus app. This not only ensures the maximization of the magic while being at Magic Kingdom, but it also ensures a stress-free, memorable experience from the start to finish. To further maximize the max, to further maximize the magic for all of our guests and not just children, we have implemented additional campaign aspects such as the adult-only hours, the theme nights, and the ARVR tech ride. Thank you all for listening to our Disney presentation.